We're really moving things on in the sheep industry. It's fantastic that uh, the Highland Show and, and the World Board and the NSA have got together and are really promoting what an amazing display that you have here today. And, and what is on a rise? Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Prince Charles championed Wool Week and uh, actually grass down Savile Row and really promoted British wool. And on Country File, what I worked for, I jumped on the bandwagon and uh, had some of the wool from the sheep at home uh, made into a suit in Savile Row, which was a great privilege. And I, I don't have it on today. Uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit thick for a, a hot day like today. But what here is uh, is sporting. It's Scottish equivalents, and uh, that, there was about, um, there, there was about 25 sheep uh, went into making this, uh, this suit because he's such a, a large man. And um, yeah, so wool is really on and up. It's absolutely fantastic. The prices have risen, uh, and the, the, the people are really thinking about using it in many products. And it's on the catwalks of Milan and Paris. The big designers are thinking about wool, and the, the city boys are wearing it. It isn't just your country, country gents and famous rugby players wearing tweed uh, nowadays. It's, it's, the, it's the city men too and ladies, which is absolutely fantastic. I think we've got a long way to go with wool. The price of wool is rising. It still has some way to go, I believe. But some very exciting times ahead. So for those people who have got into easy care sheep that, um, that shed their wool, you've made a big mistake. <laughs> We'll move on to, uh, to, the, to the largest celebrity here, and uh, he's going to say a few words. <laughs> Adam, thank you very much. Yes, he said it. He said all that I have to say. But yes, I think it's great for me to come along here. I got a five-minute warning, and well done to everyone involved, especially the Wool Marketing Board, but generally getting everyone aware of what wool can be done, both in clothing, also involved in the housing and the insulation. So much that wool can be done because it certainly helps the farmers and it's lovely to see the lovely demonstrations around here but I do think Adam, you would look particularly well in a tap and suit so there's nothing to do with the next programme we see at the telly I think we have to get you in a tap and suit I don't know what colour goes with ginger but we will find out and see what happens so well done to everyone and a continued success to the wool industry thank you can I just move on and we'll do the presentation of the prizes. The first prize is the Champion Fleece, which is the major and this is a uh, calendar perpetual trophy. And it goes to uh, fleece number 36, which is Mr. Uh, sorry, Mrs. McEwen King. Oh, congratulations, Rob. I only excuse the wind. Come in here, come in the room. 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 Goes to police number 63, which is Barbara Webster. Where he has the police department manufacturer, which is a Blackwood Walkers trophy, which goes to uh, number 43, Dolly and I do. It's in two bits. Ladies and gentlemen, before I finish, can I just thank our judge, uh, Stephen Bollinger? So our two celebrities, thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming along. Enjoy the show, and uh, we'll follow up with you again next year. Thank you very much.